Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm outside of Jackson's Recovery. So for the people who don't know about Jackson's, uh, they have the contract with the police, where when their vehicle needs to be either seized or recovered or whatever, uh, by the police, they will call these lot, because they have a contract with them, to come and take your vehicle and bring it here. And of course you have to pay to get it. It's a massive, massive contract worth a lot, a lot of money. Um, and they make tons and tons of money. But look at the building. Where's all that money going? I'm guessing it's just going in their pocket because the condition of it is terrible. As you can see, they're not really got much here. And you're paying so much money to get your vehicle out. Um, people, yeah, and how people's vehicles will be treated here once they get here. I have been told by a numerous amount of people about the reputation of this place. That it's not got a really good reputation. A lot of people complain about it and people have emailed us and let us know to come here to film this place because they said their attitudes when they was here getting the vehicles was disgusting. It was treated poorly. And um, yes, it's, just, it's one of them really. It's a small little fucking building with a massive contract for the police. So they're making thousands and thousands of pounds just from this one little building they got a sign as well that says public access with a little police logo at the front counter payments so forth public access Jackson's recovery flashing their police logos around and they got a few signs up here as well little police logos everywhere there's the prices, guys, that they are charging. That's a lot of money. All these different certifications. And they even got liability insurance. I wonder if they ever use their liability when they scratch people's vehicles and so forth because we had a few people tell us how bad this place actually is so we thought we'll come have a little record and see for ourselves what it's like not really got um, the best of places here they've just got this little tiny bit um, but they've got a whole bunch of their vehicles all parked up here on standby waiting for the police to call them so right behind me as well i'm guessing it's from the vehicles coming in and out all day long they have destroyed the path bricks and everything all over tripping hazards everywhere look how deep that is absolutely shocking really and yeah, the condition of all the all the ground so guys this is on colic loot road um, we'll just have a little look, see what we can see down here. Absolutely massive bit they have at the back. Got the vehicles in here left running. Lots of vehicles, caravans and vans, all down the bottom. I just think some people can't even always afford to get their vehicles out of there because the prices are expensive and of course when they can't pay they get to sell your vehicle at the auction and then everyone loses their valuables that's inside of the vehicles the car itself and debts them up absolutely mental they got one two three four recovery trucks i can just see from here where's all the other money going straight in their pockets i'm guessing yeah it's not really the the best upkeep they could have get that ground fixed outside of there but they don't they just have it all open what do you guys think? Do you think that they should have contracts with the police to be able to do all this? Or do you think that they shouldn't be able to do it? You want to say, mate? No, no, we're just basically doing a little film. Looking at health and safety. 
just doing a little film looking at health and safety and how everything's being looked after here. Okay. No That's worries. all. Cheers, mate. Yeah, he just came to ask me what I was doing. Probably see me out the window and... Yeah. No authorised person allowed past this point. Got all the vehicles inside of those units as well. All being stored. Opened up one of the gates. I think he's coming in. Got to be coming out of here. We'll get the drone up as well. Go so what? Oh, what we got down here? Oh, look, we've got someone's vehicle coming out on a forklift. It's just come out of the shed itself. We've got the new people's cars around. I know, think of all the damage that could be doing to the bottom of their vehicles, just balancing on, on the ends of a forklift. Bump it into things. Yeah, he should be, when he coming out of any building, he should be beeping his horn, but he's not. He just go in, get in the vehicles and driving right back. Back in without beeping his horn. I'm guessing that vehicle's gonna go to to the auction. It's been covered in filth. So here he is going out onto the road, he's going off to pick someone's vehicle up. Wonder where he's going, how much they're gonna be charging for this vehicle that's gonna be recovered. There he goes, all over the ground, smashing up a bit more. Absolute bonkers, but we'll get the drone up and we'll see what we can see, and we'll go from there. So I'm just gonna go and let them know that I'm gonna be flying the drone, just so they're not gonna be spooked. That um, there's a drone over the site. Oh, the doors are locked. Outside of this door, it's locked. It's locked. At the top? No, it's locked at the top. We'll be, oh, walking into you. <laughs> It's been locked off at the top, so we can't get in. Uh, so we'll just get the drone up and we'll go from there. So we're gonna see if we can get hold of anyone just to let them know that we're gonna be flying the drone. Just to give them the heads up. See if anyone answers. I'm not sure if they will or not. We'll just wait and see if anyone replies on their little intercom. Don't think that they will. Seems a bit quiet, really. No one about, no one in the office. We'll just get the drone up. So we just had the police turn up. Oh, boys, all right. All right. Off inside. Another one inside of here. One poking the head out. <laughs> so we've got a big, massive right, boys, vehicle that's doing? turned up. You okay? And he's just going off to talk to them. You okay? Don't, Sorry, don't do that, you. I, I'm just talking to you, what are you up to? Why are you I'm walking where I'm walking, mate? I'm having a little chit chat to him over That's there. About with the drones and playing games, I guess, aren't you? Yeah. What games are we playing? I don't know, you're playing with your drone and stuff, aren't you? Having a drone, yeah. Yeah, just wonder why you're flying it over the business premises. Why are you trying to cover his What's wrong with that? I, I'm not, I was waving to get his attention. I was talking to you and you well, were. Well, I didn't want to talk to you, did I? 
You don't want to talk to me. Well, I wasn't, was I? I was carrying on with yeah, my business. I was just trying to make sure you weren't ignoring me. I wasn't just ignoring you. I was doing my own thing. Okay, well, I was talking to you. You should have waited. I you said, excuse what, me, what sir. You, what, you, what are you doing, chaps? have a moment of your time. That's what you should have said. What are you doing, chaps? What does it look like you're doing? You already I don't answered know, your own I'm question. You. you already answered your own question. You already said it. flying the drone and, and taking videos and stuff. Yeah. Why is that then? Well, why do you think? I don't know. That's what I'm you asking you. You said it was playing a game, flying a drone. You all right? I'm asking you, is that what you're doing? Playing the games and flying drones? Or flying a drone? What are you doing? What do you think? Just, just flying a drone. Flying a drone? Right. Recording? Yeah? So do you want is to that, identify that... yourself? Yeah, of course I can. Thank you. What's your name? It's James Wilde. And your caller number? 898. self meeting? 4300 Perfect. And yourself? James Buckeran, 2865. Perfect. I've got a question. Okay. What's, your, what's your name? Oh, would you, you want to know my name? Pardon? Why do you want to know my name? I'm just, we're having a chat on me, having a conversation, oh, so what's I, your name? I'm not needing to give any oh, ID. Oh, no, okay. no, no, no. Yeah, but I'll just ask you, in the uniform standard, yes. it says that you would, should wear your epaulets on your shoulders. Yes. So, How comes neither if you do that? Uh, well, I've got just there, look. Know, I've, got, I've got my name in gold on the display there, haven't I? Is it to hope that people may not notice it? No, no, it's there, isn't it? You can see it, can't you? Can you read it? Can, people, can you read? Can you read that? Okay. Most people, can you read that? Okay. Just yes people, or no. That's all I want to know. Can you, people, can you read it or not? Most can you read it or not? Most people. Can you read it or not? Look for the shoulders. Can you read it or not? Most people. The column is there. It's, it's, it's clearly a, identifiable, isn't it? I can see a gang badge. A gang badge. Yeah. I can oh, see right, a defaced okay. flag there. Is it? Okay. Yeah, and one there. Two of them. Another thing I know is, is the body cam. Yeah. What's gonna? Well, you hadn't told us that he's activated the body cam. Oh, it's yours oh, as well. Sorry, I got no, no anyway, let's get that. my body let's cam. Is that okay? Space. Yeah, that's what your colleagues oh, should have said. Oh, sorry. Appreciate it. Yeah. Only a D3, I thought you would have had a D5. Pardon? You only got a D3 body cam. Have I? A bit outdated. I, I thought you would have had a D5. Would I? Yeah. Why would I have a D5? Because a lot of officers have got D5s. Have so they? they? More new ones, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't or know. are you just waiting for the K7s to come out? No. The ones well, are very good. they good ones, are they? They are a lot better, yeah. No, you should. sound like good. You should have a look yourself. Should I? Right. What if you, you enjoy the like? job, do I enjoy the job? Let's go stand do you enjoy the, the job? You're telling me. I'm asking you. Let's go, let's go I thought you might want to do a bit enjoy, of research yourself. I enjoy the job. Let's stand out the job. Here. Yeah, we'll I just come out of the I way a little bit. Just gonna come past you, matey. Hang on, I'm just stood here a minute, young man. That's all. Doesn't seem like you're standing there really well. So it seems like they have a little bit of attitude. Quite come quite quickly. One guy. Yeah, just some other guy. A little nosy. He's a nasty little fucker, isn't he? Yeah, it seems that he's got a bit of attitude. Jack boots. Show him the boots on him. Look at his boots to the others. The way he laces them up and wears them. You're right, Jack boot. Strange attitude by these lot. That's the question. Who asked the guy in the van? We just had one that went in there. And then we've got these lot, it's all turned up. You already asked me that. I said I don't need to provide you that. I don't have to. Why would you want my name? Yeah, why? Just so we're having a chat on with a But I already told you once already, and now you're asking me for the what, second what, time. What did you tell me once already? Same answer already. Which was what? I don't have to. Okay. And what's your name, young man? Why do you want the name? We're just having a general conversation, aren't we? Doesn't so really seem. Because so you, young man. You you might be older. Any Good. any person you ever speak to, you ask the name. Yeah, pretty much. I yeah. recognise your voice. Could say, sir. I, I, why am I calling you, sir? Do you? Do you? Do you well, if you don't you, know you, someone's you name, my, you my, if you, you don't know someone's name, name, you would say, I'm sir. I'm not going to call you, sir. I'm not. I'm not going to call you, sir. Why not? How you identify? Well, it doesn't so matter. I'm not going to call you, sir. I'm because I don't want to offend you. Well, you so could say just, anything. Just younger, younger than me, because you look younger young than me. So that will do, won't it? You never know, do you? Right? We'll never know. You look younger than me, so that will do. Younger, we call you. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad. It's, I prefer, sir. Uh, well, I'm not going to call you, sir. Well, I said what I prefer. You're, you're not my supervisor, you know? are you, sir? I did I'm say. Not gonna, you're not my supervisor, so I'm not going to call you, sir. But you so said you don't I know what to call us. If I'm not giving you my name. I apologise in advance if that calls you offence. If I'm not giving you my name, you, sir, you, my name, you can call me, sir. I'm not going to call you, sir, because you're not a supervisor. Sir, it's fine for me. Going back to the lady in there, just felt a little bit intimidated. What's that tell you if she's just been in no, the back. Guys, I'm look it. No. I appreciate that, um, thank you. What's that tattoo? Call them tattoos. They look very nice. Do they? Are they? Yeah. yeah. Have a little, look, my tattoos. little look at the tattoos. Yeah, you can look nice. at the tattoos all you want. That's, I, I've seen it. I, know my, I think my colleagues asked you. Excuse me, mate. Can I, so, oh, you're talking to me, sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. 
I yeah. don't know your name, so I don't know. I, I asked him to call me sir, but he didn't sir, want to say right. sir. I appreciate no it, problem. thank you. Right, um, just to make sure you find your own. Uh, I appreciate there's no one not committed to any fancy, so just make sure you find it safe. Well, yeah, we are, thank you, mate. Thank I appreciate you, you calling me sir. I asked your colleague to do the same, but he didn't want to do that. It's in his own little word. What, what was that? Like? I was talking to your colleague, not oh, you, sorry. mate. Oh, sorry, sorry, mate. I yeah. thought you were talking to me. You could call oh, me sir. It's fine. Sir. Sir's alright. Yes. Sir's alright for me. We're allowed to have the bottom one, we don't have to cover it up. Got a lot of different ones you got here. What's yeah. that? What's that one meant to be? Three eight nine six. Three eight little, nine six. Yeah, a little blue line on that as well. Yeah. What's that one for? You like the blue lines, don't you? Do like, do like yeah, they've the got lines, quite yeah. a few. Is that do. someone's epaulet on there? Yeah. Who's? Yeah. Yeah. Who's my colleague who unfortunately died on duty. Fair Is enough. that all right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So was he from Nottingham? All badges. On him? Was he from Nottingham, your mate? Yeah. Yeah. Have they got any memory benches for him or like have he done? Or have they got anywhere nice for him? You know, have to they remember got any memory benches for them? Yeah. Not where there's a memorial up to the headquarters, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. At least they've done something yeah, for him. Absolutely. It. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, look, you're not going wrong. You just film, you just I watch on YouTube. How could you let him take the lead? I know you should have come out and spoke to us. What did it do? Call 999 and come zooming over. No, we were tra we were travelling somewhere different. I'll go and listen to what they're saying about it. I'll let like you have a conversation with him anyway. Oh, they've got some snacks in there. Don't worry, I'm not coming through any doors. Excellent. It's alright. That, right. Don't worry. Yeah, carry on working. Just for one second. Just for a second, chaps. Yeah, this is saying about closing up doors and this and that. See if the mic picks up. Having a little combo. Yeah. Oh, I'm all right. Thank you for asking. Jolly good. As long as you're okay, that's all my Perfect. Are you all right? I'm spot on. Perfect. Tickety boo. Some may say. This guy is just behind the gates. We've got a, another vehicle having a little wander past. Oh yeah, look at that floor, guys. All the times have gone over this. All the damage that they have caused. Just from coming in and out. I think of all the money they make, they would sort that all out, but of course they don't. But yeah, Jackson Recovery. They have the contract with the police. Police seize your vehicles. And then they come and take everything else. Going back. It's convoy. Back and forward, back and forward. Crazy. <laughs> Having a little convo. We've got nobody with the, the mic. Directional mic. Getting the audio up. They arrived quite quickly for Jackson's, not gonna lie. It was like one minute the phone, next minute bang, they're here. Silly bang. Silly bang. They work faster than that. But you call the police, you never get them to turn up. 
Jackson's little turtle. Having a long chit chat. What do you guys think? What do you think they're saying? Leave your thoughts in the comments. When I went over a minute ago, there was on about closing up the gates, make sure no doors are left open. Yeah. Hey, boys. Sir. Sorry, are you boys? I did say sir, so you can call me sir. I'm still not going to call you sir. Why are you call me sir. What's wearing? What's he off? I don't think he's had his wheat bix this morning. You don't even know what he's saying. He's in his own little world. We'll get to the other side of the road. We'll film him as he comes out. We'll make a, a nice little shot as he comes out. Don't think he's too happy about us being here filming. Off to go on their little travels. To fight some more crime, as they would say. They never trespassed you. Never trust me. Never trespassed me from the site. Didn't say oh. Didn't even say oh when they came out. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until next time, peace out.